Hanak, Enoch, 103. But now I swear to you, righteous, by the greatness of his splendor and his glory, by his illustrious kingdom and by his majesty, to you I swear that I comprehend this mystery, that I have read the tablet of heaven, have seen the writing of the holy ones, and have discovered what is written and impressed on it concerning you, that all goodness, joy, and glory has been prepared for you, and been written down for the Ruachot of them who die eminently righteous and good. To you it shall be given in return for your troubles, and your portion shall far exceed the portion of the living. The Ruachot of you who die in righteousness shall exist and rejoice. Their Ruachot shall exult, and their remembrance shall be before the face of Elohim, rather of El Elohim, from generation to generation. Nor shall they now fear disgrace. Woe to you sinners when you die in your sins, and they who are like you say respecting you, Blessed are these sinners. They have lived out their whole period, and now they die in happiness and in wealth. Distress and slaughter they knew not while alive. In honor they die. Nor ever in their lifetime did judgment overtake them. Has it not been shown to them that... To the receptacle of the dead, their souls shall be made to descend. Their evil deeds shall become their greatest torment. Into darkness, into the snare, and into the flame, which shall burn to the great judgment, shall their ruachot enter. And the great judgment shall take effect forever and ever. Woe to you, for to you there shall be no peace. Neither can you say to the righteous and to the good who are alive. In the days of our trouble have we been afflicted. Every trouble have we seen, and many evil things have suffered our Ruachot have been consumed, lessened, and diminished. We have perished, nor has there been a possibility of help for us in word or in deed. We have found none, but have been tormented and destroyed. We have not expected to live day after day. We hoped indeed to have been the head, but we have become the tail. We have been afflicted when we have exerted ourselves, but we have been devoured by sinners and the wicked. Their yoke has been heavy upon us. Those have exercised dominion over us who detest and who goad us. And to those who hate us have we humbled our neck. But they have shown no compassion towards us. We have been desirous of escaping from them that we might fly away and be at rest, but we have found no place to which we could fly, 
and be secure from them. We have sought an asylum with princes in our distress and have cried out to those who were devouring us, but our cry has not been regarded, nor have they been disposed to hear our voice, but rather to assist those who plunder and devour us, those who diminish us and hide their oppression, who remove not their yoke from us, but devour, enervate, and slay us, who conceal our slaughter, nor remember that they have lifted up their hands against us,